Our very first speaker uh, gave me my first baking job um, at a time when I was pretty nervous about making a career shift, uh, but she made it fun and exciting and played some great tunes while we decorated donuts all morning. So I have an immense gratitude to her, and now a year later I get to repay her by making her come on stage and talk to all of you. She goes by many names, artist, pastry chef, dairy fairy, cookie monster. She was born, raised, and is living and working in this living city, Calgary, Alberta. Please welcome Larissa Costello. Thank you, Calvin. Wow, okay, hold on, let me get ready. I've never done this before, please bear with me. Alrighty. Hi, my name is Larissa and I'm an artist and pastry chef working and living here in Calgary. People ask, are you from Calgary? I always say, yup, born and raised. To which I often like to add, I grew up in the same exact house that my mom grew up in. Wow, two generations growing up under the same roof a now inner city roof that used to be at the edge of city limits, a roof that has since been renovated along with the majority of the house below, but the bones of the home remain the same. In Southeast Asia, they have a saying that goes, same, same, but different. Life is a lot like that. The city, the house, the girl that was raised there, they all change and evolve over time, but they are still the same person, same place, same thing. So with a great lack of authority, I shall now shove down my very strong feelings of imposter syndrome and selfishly reflect on my tiny perspective of how the city and I are the same, same, but different. Changing, growing, evolving, and living. Not only did I grow up in the same house as my mom, we went to the same high school, a building which no longer exists. The ghost haunts an abandoned hump of land next to the Westbrook Mall, a site that I find terribly depressing. I was the last graduating class of the old Ernest Manning High School. Woo! <laughs> All of my spare time was spent in the art room and playing on as many sports teams as physically possible. A weird combo to be both athletically and artistically obsessed, but it is this combo that paves a wonderful pathway to being a successful pastry chef. Knowing how to be creative while working as a team, not to mention being physically strong, are all important aspects of kitchen survival. Before I would ever set foot in a professional kitchen, however, I had a variety of part-time summer jobs. My first two jobs I ever had were very Calgarian. Like so many others, my first job was at Stampede. My official job title was Guest Services Representative. The unofficial title was Howdy. This caused me to fall in love with Calgary, with the stampede, and with wearing Western wear. It gave me a real sense of pride to be a Calgarian, which is why, perhaps, I took my next job working at the Calgary Tower. My official job title was Guest Services Representative. <laughs> the unofficial title was Gift Shop Cashier. A little less glamorous, but there is something very glamorous about being the first one to see this view every day. The hours I spent up there also funded my post-secondary adventure, ACAD, now AU Arts. Same, same, but different. Art school was the best and everyone should go to art school. I was encouraged to play and do what I wanted and then figure out why. Given the opportunity to make anything, I found myself painting cakes. I had always been interested in baking and the notions of comfort and nostalgia, and then I became obsessed. Pretty soon, all of my art became dessert-themed. I was interested in the colors, the textures, the memory associations, and what it represented. My favorite work came at the end of my studies where I would form whimsical pastries from my imagination out of clay and then turn them into large-scale oil paintings. The natural progression was to then create an edible version. I found that I liked everything about baking so much that I just wanted to do more of it. So I followed my second dream, going to baking school. I attended SAIT for the Baking and Pastry Arts program, and there is no hiding the fact that I was attracted to this program because it had arts in the title. The intersection where art and food collide is my favorite place to be. 
I was very lucky to find myself at such an intersection when I naively applied for my first kitchen job at an, another iconic Calgary landmark, the River Cafe. River Cafe is a hyper-local ingredient-focused restaurant, meaning every ingredient used there must be locally sourced and must be grown in Canada. This means no cinnamon, no vanilla, no lemon. Uh, us pastry people need to be very creative and use weird ingredients and techniques to create edible masterpieces. They're kind of like edible representations of our own landscape. I learned a lot at baking school, but I learned even more from my time at River Cafe, undoubtedly shaping the pastry chef that I am today. Since then, I've lived my dream in a variety of kitchens and been elbow deep in batters, mousses, and bread doughs. I've made cookies at Higher Ground Cafe, sourdough donuts and gelato for Teatro Group, artisanal ice cream sandwiches for my own project, Sunshine Ice Cream. I've even shaped croissants and sourdough bread for Sidewalk Citizen. If you'll allow me to nerd out about bread for a minute, there's a very good chance that many of the sourdough breads in this city originated from the same starter, a starter that has been kept alive by citizens with their own hands. The starter is very much a living organism that's characterized by the particular climate and conditions of the city it lives in, just like you or me. If you take a starter to a new place with a new microbiome, it changes. If we need any evidence that the city is a living thing, the proof is in the bread. Like Calgary, there are some aspects of bread baking that can feel boring and dry, in my opinion. <laughs> but there is also something therapeutic and life-giving about it. I often wonder, why do I live in Calgary? Would I choose to live here if I wasn't born here? <laughs> At the same time, whenever I return home from being abroad, I step off the airplane and get that first breath of dry Calgarian air. <laughs> it immediately feels like home. <laughs> there is no denying that the city shapes us and we shape the city. I would not be who I am without Calgary, and dare I say that Calgary would be ever so barely slightly different if not for me. <laughs> the city lives simply because we do. I recently looked back at my old play school memory book. I was asked what my favorite thing to do was. I wrote that my favorite things were to do crafts and playing in the toy kitchen. This always makes me smile because like the city, Although I have grown, evolved, changed, learned, messed up, won, lost, and changed my mind, I'm still Larissa, born and raised in Calgary, same, same, but different. Thank you so much, Larissa. Um, I'm a baker myself, so that was that was amazing. 